uh, this video is for someone uh, who wanted to come to the US but don't really wanted to do any kind of uh, master's or PhD research work. Uh, then I have recently found out a course where you can just do the coursework uh, within just a one and a half year or maybe one year and then uh, go directly into the job market. Most of you are recently asking me like I have completed my master's or PhD in India. Uh, how can I go ahead and uh, do jobs in US? Well, you can do jobs, but it's highly impossible or maybe highly difficult for someone who has completed the PhD in India coming here because you need the different kinds of visas and getting a student visa is the easiest and the best than compared to H1B when you are uh, already present in India. So you can follow the steps that I'm talking in this video and then uh, this might help you. The program that I'm talking about is Master of Professional Studies. Yes, it is a professional study master's in agriculture and life sciences. I have seen this uh, kind of coursework when I, when I was like searching, are there any kind of uh, courses other than master's or PhD? Then I have found out like in Cornell University, there is a MPS, which means Master of Professional Studies, where you can study for one year and then go into the like job market. It is a non-thesis and one year master's degree. Yes, it is a master's degree, but just one year and you need to just do only coursework of your interests and then uh, go for uh, the job that you are studying in that particular course like they are offering a different focus of subject like uh, animal health animal nutrition dairy business management agriculture business management and also uh, genomics genetics like what you need to exactly do here is just they will give you a project like a capstone project where you will be working on it and then providing a project report at the end of the study and that's it uh, this is kind of like a more uh, management level or someone who has all the degrees but just want to kick start their career i think this is the best option for them uh, you can definitely look into it. I will link down what I have seen in the Cornell University so that you will also can uh, understand what exactly this program is about. Just two semesters because the coursework is only for one year and you will be working on the project in the last semester or the second semester. Coming to the funding, how much cost is it going to be uh, for completing the whole program? So there will not be any kind of funding. Uh, which is understandable because uh, they are just giving you the opportunity to come here. But how much cost it's going to be? Well, it's it will be around like $30,000 for two semesters like or for the whole course you will be doing. I know you are confused like whether I have to go for masters or MPS or how should I do it? Well, uh, I would like to break down some of the differences between how a master's degree is going to be differing with the MPS or the Master of Professional Studies program. And some of them are like, for example, in MPS, uh, this is just a one year course, but for masters, this is a two year or maybe three year uh, coursework where you will be getting do a research work and not just a project. The format for MPS is just the course based, but for masters or MS program there will be research based which means you will be taking the courses as well as at the same time you will be also working with the research project coming to the funding for MPS program it is self-funded or maybe you can take loans like student loans and come here but for research projects uh, like uh, you will be funded by the department either with the stipends or you can apply for any kind of other stipends but sometimes like this is my personal opinion where uh, in the for the master's program uh, you might not be getting uh, any funding uh, in mainly in some kind of universities but they do the research project like you have to self-fund yourself I have heard this from some of the students like you like some of them are uh, messaging me in Instagram I, like I'm getting the project like I have got interviewed with the professor but the professor is saying uh, this is a self-funded project that you need to support yourself there are also such kind of instances sometimes so you need to be careful before uh, like uh, getting into any kind of like master's program too. Who want to or who can join the MPS and MS programs? MPS program is ideal for someone who wanted to pursue their careers in the industry jobs, like maybe industries or government related agencies, or uh, they can also continue doing the research work, but uh, mainly focused on career driven uh, industry jobs. 
for research work uh, mainly if someone who wants to go to the academia or the research work or become a professor then this kind of uh, pathway can be a good thing but like me uh, for example take myself like i am doing the research work but i want to go to the industry yes you can also do that but it will be easy for someone who is doing a research work because you will be already doing a research project and it's it is easy to go to the academics or become a phd student post doc and then become a professor these are all the differences some of the main differences between these two programs so you need to think of where you wanted to go in your career and at that same time uh, you need to understand some of the things like mainly the visa related things i'm not sure about this but i highly uh positive about this that um mps program you will be having only one year of stem uh, these are some of the differences that uh, i can make uh, so that it will be easy for you to make a decision whether if you wanted to do a masters or a prof- masters in professional studies or a phd phd is something that you can just right away decide it but it will be sometimes difficult to uh, like take a decision between like whether you want to go for a masters or whether you want to go for a mps program because as i'm telling you right now uh, like recently i have found this and i have no clue when i was searching for a program 2 years back i didn't even know that such, such kind of program exists and also i'm positive that this kind of programs will be present in other universities uh, mainly in agriculture and life sciences um, but i have found out in the cornell university uh, so yeah you can search in the google like just go away and search it yeah this is all about about the video which will be interesting uh, every aspirant who want to come to the agriculture in different kind of courses like not traditionally masters or phd hope you like this video if you like it share it with your friends who are actively searching for any kind of positions in the us uh, this kind of maybe an eye opener for someone uh, who doesn't want to do any research work but wanted to come to the us yeah and uh, this is all about it see you all in the next video until then shravya signing off bye